Hi and welcome back again. <coughs> Next course of action is to uh, bore out the bigger gear that I made and then that will be a press fit over one of the uh, rollers. So uh, just got to bore that out a bit and that's got to be a nice, um, <coughs> a good fit on these, which are exactly, according to the micrometer, see if I can get it, <coughs> oh, kick, everyth kick everything that's available to kick, It's 25.4. No. 25.4 millimeters. So we're going to bore this out. Let's see what we've got so far. That's 20, 23.25. A little way to go. I've ordered some new boring bars because I haven't got a small enough one for that. So I've just made one out of a piece of um, high speed steel. But Anyway, carry on. Give you a... Taking about a millimetre off, don't want to go too fast. I'm going to make a mistake and then have to make another gear. So you can always take a bit more off, but it's harder to put it back on. Should be over cautious for now and uh, just keep measuring it. Right, we've got there. Oh, took a little bit off. Somewhere close there, no? Twenty. Press me. Do that again. Do me. Do me spring up tight enough. Right, 
25.15 so that might be just about right for a, for a press bit oh Yeah, that'll be perfect for a press fit. I think that was more luck but than judgment. Yeah, right. I think we'll, uh, we'll just break the edge of that and uh, go with that. Right, show it all together. Back in a bit. Right, hello again. Right, I don't have the luxury of a hydraulic press, so hopefully this will be uh, perfect. Once it starts, just make sure it's perfectly level. No, no, yes. Yeah, it looks good. Right, finish that off now. What I might do is uh, put a bit of plate under it so it's uh, we've got enough growth. Oh, just about. Okay, good job this is a heavy cabinet. Only a bit more. There we go. Right. On to the next part. Right, okay, welcome back again. Right, that's where we are so far. As you can see, <coughs> I've got to, um, th this is all just loose at the moment. I've got to uh, drill holes. I was going to weld the, the uprights to the base, but I've decided not to. I'll um, probably bolt them with uh, with four mil bolts or something, so that if I need to take it apart and change it or do anything else that Hazel might want, I'll uh, I can do that. So and uh, we'll make a handle, obviously. And then what will happen with these is when I've uh, I've got to make a spacer for that bottom roller. I've cut the bottom roller. To, uh, to compensate for the gear because it's too close and I've got some clear purse uh, well blue purse bits which I've had for an awful long time I did plan to use it as a screen on my motorbike but um, never got never got round to it so that's going to be um, I'll make that into the plates for Hazel so um, two plates made up and then a card material and things go between it and then obviously that goes through the through the roller and squeezes and like an old mangle like the I used to have <coughs> and um, so I'll use that um, and what I need to do is uh, once that's done and those are fixed in place that will give me what I want to do is cut these end pieces off just a tiny bit undersize and then drill them and thread them tap them for uh, take a bolt because this side they're um, I've made them so they're just a pin pull tight fit so there you go that's where we are at the moment like I say I've now got to uh, figure out the spacing make bushes and washers and uh, what have you for the clearance because there's got to be a little bit of a clearance between that uh, roller and the end plate so that wants a bit of a washer in it 
and then I can figure out where it's going to be screwed down to the base. So, okay, onwards and upwards. Back later. Alright, hi guys, welcome back. I'm uh, just about to do the uh, base plate for this. <coughs> uh, I haven't quite made up my mind. I'm sort of um, thinking about it as I go. I'm going to use these 4mm Allen head bolts to come up through the through the base. Um, it's a 5mm plate, but the thickness of the head is 4mm, so it'll only leave 1mm. So I'm toying with the idea of um, putting that on the lathe and just cutting the inside edge down a touch. At least a millimetre. That will give me a two millimetre plate to uh, to leave. And um, I'll do it right on the edge of the <coughs> right on the edge. So anyway, let's um, find out where the plate is. I want to do it. I'm not going to measure the plate because I've already pre-marked the holes. It's going to come a tiny bit inside that um, my scribed line. I just want to um, stick my head in the way a minute. side of that line I think just to give it a bit of play because I can adjust the washers on the on the uh, <coughs> ends of the shaft so that it can uh, go in a little bit so just want to leave myself a little bit of um, play room I'm quite want it on the edge that on the thing. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll go for that then. Zero the, zero the dials. Uh, what, was, what was I doing? I can't remember, I can't remember what I was doing then. between the no, Now between the holes. Right, okay. Right, we'll do those then.
slightly. Like one of the one of the flutes has chipped off that, which I never noticed.
Okay. Right, back in a minute. Right, okay. I'll come up with an idea. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this. That, um, that's a bit difficult, isn't it? Let's see if it'll focus. I took a little bit of the screw depth off and a little bit of the outside just to narrow it down a bit. So that will give me a bit more uh, clearance on there. I'll leave about two mil that way. So. Yeah, that'll be about perfect then, so, right, I'll just get an end mill and uh, go down with that. Yeah, that's three mil, so yeah, I'll leave two mil, okay. and that's five mil. Right, okay, let's see if we can find an end mill then. Right, size, what are we on now, six mil. We better find a two flute. Uh, have I got one? That's a point. Have I got a six two or a two six? What's that one? I did have a six, but I destroyed it. And I haven't replaced it yet. Two flute, that is. So we'll try four, it should be alright. Let's go depth. Zero. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to go a bit quicker than that, don't we? Must be going balmy. Measured it wrong. Oh, I picked up a five and not a six. What a dope. 
Should we try that again? Good job it was undersized and not oversized. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Now I'll bring you in and show you that. Sorry for the camera shake, I'm just gonna just gonna bash it about a bit. Can't see that. Right. The next one. Twenty eight mil. Zero is the same because the paint might be slightly. Get my hand out the way, sorry. Right, there we go. That's it. Right, I'll go and get the uprights, get them ready for drilling. Back in a bit. 